There's always room for family. Family's important to the fast and furious actors, both in the movies and in real life. How did Vin Diesel's youngest daughter help him write the script for F9? Who became a father at 54 years old? And who was Jason Momoa dating after his split with Lisa Bonet? Let's ride! Vin Diesel as Dom The fast and furious patriarch is proud of his creation, especially because, when Paul Walker was alive, they talked about how cool it would be to make 10 movies of the saga. He looked at me and said, if we ever got to 10, we would do something no one's ever done in cinematic history. And they did it! Just like Dom loves his family in the Fast Saga, Vin adores his in real life. He's been in a relationship with Mexican model Paloma Jimenez for 16 years. It's unclear if they ever got married because the couple is very secretive. But we do know that they have three kids together. They called their youngest one Pauline as a tribute to Paul Walker. She's actually a very wise girl, especially for an eight-year-old. Vin shared that she helped him write one of the scenes in Fast 9. When little B says, Daddy, do you know where God is? And I say, where it is? Points to my heart. That happened in real life. What's more, little Pauline inspired one of the new members of the Fast and Furious gang. But we'll get back to that later. And did you know that Vin is a godfather of Paul Walker's daughter, Meadow? He even walked her down the aisle at her wedding. And in the 10th film, she became part of the Fast and Furious family. Now, let's talk about Dom's one love. Michelle Rodriguez as Letty The actress had an awesome fight sequence with Charlize Theron in the 10th film. Shockingly, the actresses managed to film it without the director. Michelle said that they simply didn't need him for the scene. We kept that train running until Louis came in and took over. And Charlize is a consummate professional, sharp elbows. Her work ethic is beyond, she commented. The same can be said about Rodriguez, who is also very committed to her job. In fact, she's so devoted that she has little time left for her personal life. In the past, Michelle has been linked to many celebrities, like Zac Efron, Colin Farrell, and even her Fast Saga co-star Vin Diesel. And the actress is openly bisexual. So she has also dated model Cara Delevingne and actress Christiana Loken. But these days, Michelle seems to be single. Unlike her co-star, Jordana Brewster as Mia. The ending of the 10th film was a huge shock for her. Oftentimes we wrap everything up in a neat bow and everyone's happy and that is not how this film ends. It really ends with, like, you just, you just don't know what's gonna happen. If you've already seen the film, you know what Jordana's talking about. The Fast and Furious franchise was an important part of her life. In fact, even her wedding last year featured a few cars from the saga. Speaking of that, Jordana's husband is a big company CEO, Mason Morfitt. They met for the first time in 2020 when both were in the process of divorcing their partners. And yet, it didn't take long for Jordana and Mason to start dating. After we were both divorced, I flew to San Francisco during the pandemic to see him, and that was it, the actress said, describing the beginning of their relationship. Jordana has two sons from her first marriage, but she doesn't share much about them. And her on-screen brother is just as cagey about his personal life. John Cena as Jacob just like many other villains in the Fast Saga, he became a good guy after only one film. So it's kind of like a rite of passage to get your own car, got that. <laughs> to be a bad guy and be a good guy, got that. And now I get to be like a cool uncle. That's quite a nice character development. While we're eager to see what happens next, let's look into John's personal life. Almost three years ago, he married his girlfriend Shay Shariatzade in a private ceremony. And in 2022, they decided to have another wedding. It was a larger one, but still pretty low-key, especially compared to other celebrity weddings. All because John is doing his best to keep their marriage out of the spotlight. Couldn't be happier, but I think a way for us to keep our intimacy is by keeping it intimate. The only thing John has said about his wife is that he's very happy with her, and he also shared what he loves the most about Shay. That she loves me for who I am, and I love her for exactly who she is. How sweet. Now let's talk about another bad guy from the saga who eventually became part of the family. Jason Statham as Deckard Shaw. The actor was happy to reprise his character. I love all of what that franchise has done for me. And Jason doesn't only like the cast and crew of Fast and Furious, he also loves the fans of the franchise. They are special <laughs> in many, many ways. Well, isn't he right? And Jason has a woman in his life who's probably his biggest fan. It's his wife, model Rosie Huntington-Whiteley. They've been together since 2010. 
Although when Jason and Rosie first started dating, their relationship raised quite a few eyebrows, particularly because he's 20 years older than her. But the lovebirds proved to everyone that age is just a number to them. Rosie shared that they're best mates, and she even feels like she never had a proper boyfriend before Jason. The couple has two kids together, a son and a daughter. Their daughter was born last year when the actor was 54. And now we're moving on to Jason's unexpected ally in Fast X, Sung Kang as Han. Deckard Shaw supposedly killed him in the past, so you'd never think that they could be on the same side. But anything is possible in the Fast and Furious franchise, and that's what we love about it. As for Song Kang, he loves the natural chemistry between the cast members. He said that after years of filming together, they're all like family in real life. But let's talk about the actor's own family. He's been married to fashion designer Mickey Yim for almost 10 years. And that's pretty much all we know about his personal life. Sung and Mickey keep their relationship out of the public eye. Even his Instagram is purely professional. Thankfully, another member of the gang is a bit more open. Tyrese Gibson as Roman The actor has a special connection to the main man behind the franchise. A few months ago, Tyrese made an Instagram post where he praised Vin Diesel. The actor wrote that he's always been a shoulder to lean on for him, and added that it would take him 15 years to explain their brotherhood. But Vin isn't the only special someone in Tyrese's life. The actor has been dating model Zelly Timothy for two years. A few months ago, he talked about their relationship on The Jennifer Hudson Show. I, I believe holding hands, walking, even if you walk in the neighborhood, it's really the conversation you have and why you holding hands that make a difference. That's so romantic. And his bro from the saga is also in a happy relationship. Ludacris as Tetch. The rapper turned actor feels like he's the luckiest man alive. To have all these accolades in the music world, but to be a part of this franchise and have so many phenomenal memories. And it's not only his career that's doing well. In his personal life, he's married to a Gabonese philanthropist, Eudoxy Bridges. She and Ludacris have been together since 2008. The actor once shared with People magazine that his wife checked all the boxes. I loved how passionate she was about her goals, and obviously, she's beautiful. We are stronger together, he said. Ludacris and Eudoxy are parenting two daughters, and the actor has another two from his previous relationships, so he certainly knows a thing or two about girl power. And while we're on this topic, let's talk about his on-screen love interest, Nathalie Emmanuel as Ramsey. She's happy to see her character's increased involvement in Fast X compared to the previous films. In fact, Nathalie loves playing Ramsey because she's such an unusual character. Have a woman who is so brilliant, like genius level at tech, which is, you know, women are very underrepresented in that field. So she always enjoys it when people praise her character's intelligence. What Nathalie doesn't enjoy is talking about her personal life. She's reportedly been dating a guy named Alex Lenupikin since 2018. He's a British actor you may have seen in the BBC drama Spooks. But neither of them has ever shared anything about their relationship, and we have no idea if they're even a thing. So let's give them the privacy they want and move on to a new character in the saga, Brie Larson as Tess. Playing the daughter of Mr. Nobody was a dream come true for her. She's always been a fan of the franchise. I've been basically begging to be in these movies for years now. Interestingly, Brie drew inspiration from Vin Diesel's daughter, Pauline, to play her character. When they met for the first time, the girl was wearing a good vibes only jacket, and it prompted the actress to wear the same one in the film. I'm sure Vin thought it was a cute gesture. In fact, Larson is so excited about being part of the franchise that she is ready for a ladies only spin off of the saga. We still don't know if that's going to happen. So, in the meantime, let's talk about Bree's personal life. The actress revealed earlier this year that she's single. I don't have a next job, I don't have a home, I don't have a partner, I don't have a plan, I'm just completely open, she said to Harper's Bazaar. That actually sounds quite nice. And now it's time to talk about the bad guys who are still bad. Charlize Theron as Cypher. Similarly to Michelle, she gushed over the way they shot their fight scene. We just utilized as much time as we could yeah. to kind of fight with each other because it was important to us to not fight doubles. You really hope you get a partner that's like up for that, and boy did I get a partner that was up. Yeah, she's certainly lucky. Charlize's personal life seems to be going just as good as her career. 
According to rumors, she's been dating model Alex Dimitrovich for a few months. A source says that she likes him a lot, but not much is known about their relationship so far. And finally, here's the main villain of the 10th film, Jason Momoa as Dante. According to the actor, his character is very sadistic and androgynous, and he's a bit of a peacock. Well, you can't argue with that statement. Interestingly, Momoa decided to play against type when portraying Dante. I think it's way more interesting to he gets the shit kicked out of him and he loves it. It was certainly more exciting to watch than a typical villain. But let's talk about Jason's personal life now. He was in a long-term relationship with Lisa Bonet, and they have two kids together. But over a year ago, they announced their split, breaking the hearts of all their fans. Yet Jason is moving on with his life. Not too long after the split with Lisa, he began dating actress Isa Gonzalez. It's unclear if they're still a couple, but they're occasionally spotted together. Share in the comments below if you've already watched Fast X. And if you want to see more of the Fast and Furious actors, watch our other video.